next month on the 11th of March we're going to be going through the experience of the new moon in Pisces. The new moon in Pisces is about a collective consciousness, a world within one, you know, connecting with the world, the universe, the cosmic tone, you know, uh, and we're going to be experiencing that very, um, very unconditionally um, due to the fact that Venus is also in Pisces. Venus brings in, um, you know, the beauty, um, creativity, which enhances creativity, followed by um, Neptune, which is in its original sign now. Neptune is in Pisces on the collective tone. Um, we're going to be um, receiving a lot of that Neptunian energy in relations to um, uh, Mercury, which is the planet of communication, how we speak. It might be either overwhelming where we may either speak too much or, you know, go back into things that we haven't completed. And uh, this could be spirituality, some for other people. When I mean spirituality, I'm talking about meditation, high experiences. Other people may go through an experience of drugs, alternative drugs like ayahuasca, the abogus plant. Um, others, it may be um, the experience of too much alcoholism. And um, others, it could also be in relations to too much... Um, drugs so depending on where you um, take your uh, mind Pisces Neptune obviously are you know the the uh, the, the working um, energies behind it they are very delusional planets when I mean delusional they appear to be real but not real they appear to be close but not close they appear to be far sorry um, but they are you know it's almost like you can't perceive the drawing the optical illusion um, is all about the, that type of energy flowing through the universe so within us we feel as if we can touch but cannot touch it's almost like a cloud when you look into a cloud you almost think that you can touch the cloud you know or you can you know as you fly or should I say you think you almost feel that the cloud is not so far from you you know, when you watch into the sky, it, it almost feels like the cloud is just around the corner. You can almost, you know, touch it. You know, for for a child, I mean, generally as a child, I always believe that somehow you can actually reach and touch the clouds. You know, but sometimes you, you know, it, it's, it's that illusion. It almost feels like you can, but you can't. You know, it's that 3D kind of perspective, you know, that that imaginative mind so your mind goes beyond it's also the realm of music where music becomes at its highest potential you know new moods is all about new beginnings new uh, uh, initiations so it's always good to create something new around the time when the moon has its new phase because you can then um, strengthen that polarity and use it for its creative needs and use it for its potential so it's a it's a it's a moment of of losing yourself in the collective of the realms of everything also it's very strong for celebra uh, celebrities uh in a, in in a sense where you know it's glamour it can be new um new creative with the collective consciousness so uh, new creative agendas you know, creating a, a, a collective group of spiritual folks where you can practice together. Um, it's a great time to create those and connect with the higher source of consciousness. So this new moon is going to be amazing on how we collectively collect with everyone. A great time for meditation, taking your mind to higher perspective. You know, um, a great time for dreams. Dreams is the realm of the, the, the unconscious mind, the realm of the subconscious, the collective consciousness. You may connect with old souls because of Mercury going retrograde um, in Pisces. You may connect, connect, connect with most, not so much so the old souls, but the higher frequencies that could be, you know, depending on your mind state, how far you've evolved 
as a being um, you might you might perceive other realities travel through different dimensions through dreams meditation um, alternative medicine ayahuasca you might travel through different realms so the new moon in Pisces is going to be excellent we've just experienced um, the you know the the full moon um, I suppose it still is a uh, valid for today but it was yesterday which um, which was very very powerful um, some people may have experienced it in different ways service to others apparently it's supposed to be um, the Tibetans new year or something like that in this new moon so, I mean this full moon so this full moon was in uh, Virgo service to others service to the world and now the, the new moon is going to be collectively co consciously uh, creating together it's going to be an amazing time really I mean you know whenever there's a new moon or a full moon it's always important to embrace those energies the new moon is always about um, you know creating new things bringing new things into the picture the full moon is always about intensifying the moment so when you create with this new moon in Pisces on the 11th of March intensify it when the full moon comes in so you might want to look on the internet and then find out where the full moon is then you can intensify the energy to strengthen it and then as the moon the full moon dies um, and it goes into it's a phase of relaxation you want to clear out things good for clearing out room or good for clearing out people that you don't want to you know in your life or things like that so new moons and full moons are always so important to bring into your realm so um, always do that you know you could even meditate with an organite for example good I mean it relaxes you it brings that kind of ultimate energy inside of you to clear outs put music tones where you know the Schumann resonance I mean if you watch one of my videos I think it's on my website I show the Schumann resonance and the, the importance of listening to that frequency which is the natural frequency of the earth by listening to that frequency you attune yourself to the higher forces you attune yourself to nature to the gnomes so Schumann resonance is the resonance of 7.8 listen to this tone you know it's very important you can find it on the downloads on my page I think I do it as an mp3 uh, for free if, if not um, I'll be putting it on my website soon orgon-energy.com but the Schumann resonance is the ultimate tone that you want to listen to at all times not just on a full moon or new moon it's a, it's a frequency which attunes yourself to the vibration of the earth going by nature for example strengthens that field also so I hope you experience a great new moon on the 11th of March I hope you pass this on to as many people and always celebrate the new moon and the full moon because it's the, it's the cycle of the women and it's the cycle of you know how we move with the waters because the water actually flows within us and the water is governed by the astral plane in the Kabbalah it would be um, yes or so you actually vibrate to that energy which will uh, um, help you move with the waters on the earth you know because the moon is a satellite which gives the ultimate truth to us so we can um, operate in this um, in this world you know it's it's almost our antenna so we move like that so we move like with the waters we are 98 95 92 whatever percentage water we have we are that and we connect with that so experience that new moon on the 11th of March and collect with the world, collect with the collective consciousness, it's important. And um, raise the energy of the planet more than anything. Use your energy to raise the planet and use unconditional love. Thank you.